Let's learn how to keep our code more organized with CQRS. With CQRS, we separate our reads, which are queries, from our writes, which are commands. A command changes the state of the system. Meanwhile, a query doesn't, it only reads information. By separating responsibilities, your code is easier to reason about. Your reads are optimized and you can scale each part independently. In fact, some projects use two databases, one for writing, and one optimized for reading. This isn't required for CQRS, but it is a common practice for high demand systems. Just to visualize it, here is an example of a command with CQRS. This command is for creating a person, and as you can see, it contains the name of the person. Then we have the handler or use case, which takes the command and orchestrates the actions necessary to create the person. Finally, in a controller, we can use the mediator pattern, which is going to take the command and is going to trigger the corresponding handler. This gives us a highly flexible and scalable system. Note, this approach is beneficial for complex systems. For simpler ones, it may be unnecessary. Follow me for more Donna content.